Welcome to Movie Recall. In today's video, we will be going through the 2018 horror fantasy movie, The Mermaid, Lake of the Dead. The movie is based on the legend of the Rusalka, a creature that lives in lakes and drags young men to their deaths. It's time to recall, let's get started. Turn on subtitles and spoilers ahead. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos like these. The film opens with a standing man is near a lake and his wife comes close to him as he turns around. He seems to have been bewitched by a mermaid in the lake. Immediately, he jumps into the lake. His wife requests to be taken instead of his husband and suddenly her husband comes on the surface of water in normal state. His wife helps him to come out from water, but his wife is suddenly dragged into water by the mysterious mermaid. He tries to help her, but something is dragging her inside. The mermaid takes the life of his wife in replacement of his. In the present day, a couple-to-be is shown in a swimming pool. The girl's name is Marina, while the boy is Roma. Marina's fiancé teaches her swimming at the same time Roma's friend Ilya jumps into the pool, challenging Roma for a swimming race. They leave for another pool, leaving Marina at the pool edge. Marina tries to swim on her own. She immediately begins to drown, and Roma does not know about it at all. After the race, he finds Marina drowning, and he rescues her life swiftly. Marina isn't happy with Roma after this incident. The same night, Roma visits with Ilya, the house built at the edge of the lake. It's his father's house. He hadn't seen him in years, but he sent Roma the key to the house for him to sell it off. Roma tells his friend that her mother's death occurred in the lake near this house due to drowning. Since then, his father had gone crazy, and he lives far away from him and his sister. This reveals that the person standing near the lake at the beginning is Roma's father, and Mermaid had put his mother into death drowning. They both check around the abandoned house and observe the basement filled with water. Obviously, they think there must have been a flood. Ilya organized Roma with a stag party, because he is nearly to get married to Marina. He isn't in a good mood for this, so he leaves. He sits at the edge of the same lake as he calls Marina, but she is engaged in some work. Roman jumps into that lake for swimming. While swimming, Roma realizes the presence of someone there. He comes outside the lake and sees a strange girl putting on his shirt and combing her hair with a wooden comb. He is alluring unwillingly to the girl and comes near her, the kiss, and with a grin face she asks, do you love me? Marina then is calling Roma but gets no response. Roma's friends are in search of him the next morning. He is lying at the edge of the lake. He wakes up and asks about the girl. Ilya picks his cloth and also finds the mermaid's comb on the floor. He takes it with him. The same comb is also found by Marina in Roma's cloth at the laundry. Roma does not feel good and shows low performance at swimming after this incident. His coach advises him to have more practice while taking bath after training. He faces mysterious happenings. The mermaid appears behind him and asks the same question, Do you love me? He instantly turns around but sees no one there. At home on the bed, Roma feels a tickle. He thinks it's Marina and shouts as he rises to check, but sees no one. Because he suffers fever now, Marina thinks he is unwell because of workout. Marina puts him to sleep and makes a video call with Roma's sister, Olga, informing her about the Roma's condition. Marina says he is acting strange. She shows her the comb. Looking at that comb, Olga is shocked. She notices the same comb in the picture of his father and mother. Next day, Roma jumps into the pool for training. In shock, he finds himself in the same lake. He comes out of the water and he encounters the same mermaid, and she again asks the same question, Do you love me? This time, he responded no. He began to black out as she shrieks back into her mermaid form right before he regains consciousness at the edge of a swimming pool. Roma found himself admitted in hospital because of dehydration diagnosed by the doctor. In there with him, Marina, Olga, and Ilya, he tells the whole story. Marina, hearing the kissing part of the story, she gets angry and leaves. Roma follows her, but he cannot walk well because of feebleness. Suddenly, Marina hears a strange voice and takes its directions. Roma follows her and reaches in a room where he again encounters the mermaid in Marina form, and the door gets locked before Marina reaches there. The mermaid is about to attack Roma until Ilya breaks in. Olga understands everything. Noticing all what's happening, she goes to her father. First of all, their father forbids to meet them and asks to go. Upon hearing Roma's encounters with the girl at the lake, he becomes devastated. He weeps and tells them all what happened 20 years ago, how their mother sacrificed herself to save him. And from that day, everything lost its meaning except from the mermaid, as he keeps remembering her every day of his life. 
They move to that house in search of solution along with Elia. Roma and Marina stay at the house and Olga goes at that edge of lake with Leah, hoping they can find something. Jumping into the lake, he swims to a grave which has an engraved name on it. He reads it and also finds some dead bodies around it. One of the dead bodies come to life. Seeing it, Elia tries to escape, but the dead tries pulling him down somehow. He manages to come outside the water with the help of Olga. He arrives at the edge of the lake and tells the name of the mermaid, Lisa Grigorieva. On the other side, as Marina fetches water outside the house, she observes a woman at the door of the cottage house. Going there, she observes it's a room where Roma's mother perform rituals. She then faces Roma's mother's ghost, chatting some words out of fear. She runs back up to the house. She comes near Roma, and suddenly a force pulls him towards the basement. Marina help him, the mermaid comes on sight and begins to pull Roma. Marina kicks the mermaid and save him. August suggests maybe it's all about the comb, and also stated that the mermaid committed suicide. In previous years, suicide victims were buried on the shores. That's why the mermaid grave was found in the river after the lake spilled over the shore when a dam was built. Marina decides to perform the ritual just like Roma's mother used to. Maybe it would help. She requests Elia to wait outside the cottage and starts a ritual going inside. Meanwhile, the mermaid appears before Elia and asks him the same question, do you love me? He replies yes, and she bewitches him. She also blitches Roma and compels him to come to the basement. Olga tries to stop him, but gets attacked instead. On the other side, Marina starts the ritual. She soaks the comb onto water, looking in the mirror. She speaks the same words she's heard from Roma's mother's ghost. The comb disappears immediately, and the mermaid appears, drowning Marina's face into water for unknown reason the mermaid reveals her past. After a proposal, a young man deceived her by marrying another lady. Knowing this on the wedding day, she rages and murders them before committing suicide by jumping into the lake. Afterwards, she turned into mermaid and allures men into her end. Roma comes to his senses after being bewitched and runs to the cottage. He breaks in when the mermaid impersonates into Marina in several numbers and each of them asking, do you love me? He is able to recognize the real Marina and expresses his love. Doing this, all the witchcraft seems to be over, everything seems normal the next morning. Ilya is still bewitched by the mermaid accepting her love, he moves to the basement. Roma finds him floating on the water and then the mermaid takes Ilya with her. Roman tries to save him, but he is already gone and also gets attacked by mermaid again. At the same time, Marina and Olga also reach there and help Roma to escape, and they all immediately leave that place. Covering a distance, their car breaks down, suddenly rain starts. Roma comes outside to check the car, the mermaid appears to them again, and waters start to fill their car, obviously caused by the mermaid. Roma breaks the window glass, saving Olga and Marina. Roma wonders why the mermaid still follows them after returning her comb and performing the rituals. He gets to understand that she will not stop pursuing him until she gets him. Roma quickly moves back to the lake and Marina runs after him. She falls and someone hits her on her head and goes unconscious. The mermaid comes near him as he reaches the edge of the lake. She asks him again, do you love me? Roma replies on it yes, but the mermaid knows he's lying to stop all her torment and then suffocates him. At the basement, we see Olga trying to use Marina as a sacrifice in exchange for her brother as he ties her to a chair. It's clear that she was the one that hit her. Marina pleads all good to stop it, but she ignores. At the same time, Roma's father arrives. There, he reveals to Olga sacrificing her in exchange will not work only if she volunteers her life, it can't be forced. The mermaid appears before them and Roma's father requests the mermaid to spare life of everyone and taken with her, she turns into mermaid form and takes him down the water. Seeing her father, Olga tries to stop her but only gets the mermaid hair and pulls Marina untie her hands and get a scissors, she cuts her hair. The hair burns and the mermaid begins to feel unrest as her power is in her hair. Moment later, she takes Olga with her in retaliation. Marina is unable to save Olga and her father, but to save Roma's life, she quickly goes at the edge of the lake and finds him lying or suffocating. She reveals to Roma that the power of the mermaid is in her hair, not the comb. Roma seems not to hear what Marina is saying. She jumps into the water intending to cut the mermaid's hair with the scissors. The mermaid faces Marina after a while struggling with her. Marina manages to cut some of her hair, causing Roma to be free from her power. Then Marina comes from the lake and both embrace each other. She then asks Roma, do you love me? Suspecting her, Roma begins to cut her hair. The mermaid came impersonating Marina as he cuts her hair, she loses all her power and return into the lake. 
Roma then jumps into Lake and takes the drowning Marina outside the water and resuscitate her. It is shown that they have won this fight through their mutual love. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and click the bell icon to get new movie recaps.